Oh, hi. So sometimes you're scrolling forever through uh, Ava Gordy's Instagram feed, admiring the hairstyles and hair colors. And uh, then you find one where she's wearing, like, the coolest goddamn necklace you've ever seen. And for a second, you think, I wonder where she bought that. I would also like to purchase that and wear it because it looks great. And then the crafter side of your brain is all like, hey buddy, you make shit all the time. That doesn't look that complicated to put together. So if you're really good at jumping ahead in plot lines, you have probably already figured out we're gonna make a Peter Pan chain necklace. Once you've completely changed your hair color and uh, actually gathered supplies for the project, you can finally begin. Here's what you need. The main thing you're gonna need is a fuckload of chains. You could go to a beading or craft store and buy new chains, but that gets like pretty expensive pretty quickly. So what I did is I spent three dollars on the tackiest necklaces that they had at Goodwill and just looked for ones that had a ton of chains on them. Thanks for making my entire life super inexpensive, Goodwill. You're the best. Your chains can be various sizes, various lengths. I'd recommend finding like one cohesive color scheme. You're also going to need some jump rings. You can probably scrap most of those. You're also going to need some pliers. So you're going to want to start with one pretty long piece of chain that's going to wrap all the way around and then you're going to attach these two ends together with a jump ring and before you close it you want to take a second piece of similar chain doesn't have to be quite as long but you do want some length to it and you want to attach both of the ends of that into the jump ring you should have four ends meeting like this and now you can close that jump ring i think the shorter the top piece of your necklace is going to be the wider it's going to hang because if you pull it down further it's all going to kind of come to a sharper point also helpful before you attach these ends down here make sure you uh, have some fasteners in the back so you can undo this so you're not stuck in a chain trap split it in the middle of the top get it to whatever length you want it to be and then just add some clasps I'm gonna split that second bit in half now I'm going to loop it up so I want the collar to look like this and then once I tack this side down I'm just gonna match it on the other side and this is what that should look like so far I already snipped the excess off of this side but go ahead and just clip off this extra strand of chain from the bottom hoop now it's time to start attaching the smaller pieces of chain I'm going to be attaching one end towards this corner of the necklace and swing it all down and attach it near the center part of the necklace. I was planning on doing five chains going down, but it's very hard to keep everything like flat. As you can see, it's rolling up a little bit here, but that's fine. But so I just attached one end of the smaller chains up this way and then work to the other ones down this middle section a little bit. So now I just replicate all that shit on this side. How fucking cute does that look? Oh, I fucking love this. My adventures as the androgynous wonder continue. Ugh.